Good evening, hyperspinners. Today we're going to be talking about Pinball FX, so get ready. Go ahead and set up Pinball FX. So first things first, you're going to go to hyperspinfe.com and you're going to go to the download section, uh, files, category, 1678, uh, databases, XML. So this is going to be where you get your XML file. You'll also find there's a large amount of media also on the download section. So you can see there's wheels, there's themes, uh, letter packs. Uh, you're going to want to download all of those. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to go to Hyper HQ, and you're going to go to Main Menu Wizard and push the plus sign. You're going to add a new system. You're going to type in Pinball FX2. You're going to go through uh, the selections. You're going to select uh, a subwheel, and it will congratulate you. Next, you're going to select Execution Hyper Launch. PC Game is disabled, and everything else is set to default. We're going to go through the other tabs because I've got a custom setup. We're going to select the alpha is 0.15 because that's the look and feel that I like. Navigation, we're going to select uh, the animate out default themes, reload backgrounds, uh, same old story that you guys are used to seeing. And then we're going to go to videos, nothing there. Sound is nothing there. And special art, if you guys have the casing that I've got on my setup, you can check that out on the FTP on uh, any movies. And this is just the location for that art. So I've got the year and the maker uh, in the top left and the bottom right, and then the genre art in the top right corner. So we're gonna go ahead and close that because you've got everything that you need now. And now that uh, that's done, you're gonna find that you have a Hyperspin uh, folder and you'll be able to drop your database in your database folder so we can go to pinball fx now and you can drop that xml that you just downloaded into here and you can also create genres like i've got here by using don's tools if you haven't checked that video out you can certainly do so in the add-in uh, playlist and then what we're going to do is we are going to go to rocket launcher uh, well, since we're here, if you go to the media folder, Pinball FX, this is going to be where you drop your uh, media here. You're going to put the images, wheels, you're going to put all the wheel art there. Also for themes, you're going to select themes, you're going to drop it all in here. All the files have to match your database game names, so take a look at your databases. Uh, but for the most part, these are mostly named correctly. Uh, if you want a, po a pointer, you're going to go to images, other, and you're going to select your, or, you know, drop your pointer in there, name it pointer. And let's see what else is on here. Sound packs. Doesn't look like there's any sound packs there. Uh, letter packs. That's going to be under images, letters. You're going to drop all that in there. Uh, these are ones that I uh, made. So enjoy that. So let's see here and then videos you're gonna drop your video previews in there as well these are on the FTP uh, for Emmy movies I know so yeah let's go ahead and finish this off so what you're gonna do is go to rocket launcher uh, UI going to go to global and if you don't see pinball FX 2 under the emulator uh, tab what you're gonna do is push the green plus sign and then you're going to type in Pinball FX2. You're going to select the path of your game, so wherever you've dropped Pinball FX2. Your uh, extension is going to be PXP, and your module is going to be Pinball FX2. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out. If you do not have Pinball FX2 module, what you're going to want to do is go to your Rocket Launcher folder, Modules, Pinball FX2, and you're going to just drop the auto hotkey and the ISV file in here uh, if you have to create it. So uh, what I'll do is I'll include this on the 
uh, Dojo FTP site on uh, any movies, and uh, you'll be able to download it there if you don't have it. So one thing I do want to mention is within the auto hotkey, you're going to find the notes just like you would if you clicked on the GUI button in Rocket Launcher UI. But you'll see if, if you want dot matrix displayed, you'll, you will have to do some additional steps. Just run the pinball FX2, select help, settings, and then videos, and then turn off the dot metric size to off. And then Rocket Launcher will basically do everything for you from there. So just wanted to point that out. Uh, but other than that, what I'm going to do is show you how I set this up. There are other notes in here. Uh, depending on how you launch it, you know, whether it's in Steam or, you know, not through Steam, I, I'm not doing it through Steam so that, you know, gives you a heads up of where we're going here. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go down to the system that we have created. And we're going to go to the settings tab. So everything's set to default. If you haven't checked out my rocket launcher video, you'll see what my defaults are. So those are all used global. And the only thing we've got to check here is the skip checks to false. And bezels I've got set to false because I want a full screen. Everything is set to use global. And we're going to look at the fade here. Everything's set to global. So we are good there. And what we're going to do is go to emulators now. And we are going to put the game path to the data steam folder, which you will see here. So the data steam folder is in the pinball FX2 folder, and there's all the tables. And the default emulator is going to be that pinball FX2 that you just created in your global settings. So once you've done that, uh, we'll be here's how you uh, check the module notes if you want them a little cleaner. Uh, I just push the double paper icon here, uh, but we don't need that because I'm telling you how to do it. Uh, so next we're going to select the edit module settings, this little uh, orange header paper. And we're going to just double check see if there's anything here. So it looks like everything is set to default, so there's really nothing to it guys. And uh, from here what you can do is launch any of these games and it will launch the table up, uh, no sweat. So. Uh, yeah, that is how you set up Pinball FX2, and here we'll we'll go ahead and uh, open up. I don't know. Let's say X Men here. So there you have it. So as you saw there. Yeah, sorry guys. So as you saw there, it launched the table right up. There was no uh, selection screen or anything. So that is it. So we'll catch you next time.